Yo, it's your boy O Mini Who, and it's been a while. So I wanted to make a video of me explaining where I'm at right now. Not like physically, but yeah, physically. But where I'm at in life. Cause I've recently moved to LA from Austin, Texas. I was in Austin for six years. And I decided to make that jump as a creative, as a musician, to take my talents to Long Beach. But not exactly Long Beach, I'm in Echo Park, the hipster side of LA. And I just been here for almost four months now. And it's, no, it's been, yeah, almost four months. And it's just, I don't know, it's time to fully share the journey. A lot has happened and a lot hasn't happened at the same time. And I'm here to tell y'all what's good. So for starters, where do I live? Uh, I live in a creative group home hostel co-op thing called Upstart. And right now I'm in the studio. It's a storage container converted. Look at, look at this, it's dope. And I live inside of a pod in a big room, not big. My room in Austin was bigger with like nine other people and it's cool. And it's, it's a sacrifice that I had to make to get here on this side of town. Um, but yeah, like it comes with, it comes with studios. So I get to talk to you. Yeah. But, uh, so I'm doing that. It's, it's fairly, it's fairly cheap, fairly expensive relative to other states. But in LA, this is cheap. I would pay like $700. Um, so like when I first got here, the game plan was, okay, Chris, let's settle. Let's move out, let's get money, let's make music, let's drop music, let's make an album, all that, all that's cool. So, to get there, I had to get a job. So, I got a job at an ad agency over there by the beach. I shit you not, it took, literally took 12 hours out of my day. Woke up, had to leave, had to leave the house by 7.30, bike to the train, Took the train 40 minutes, jumped off the train, biked another 25 minutes. That was like six miles. You know, my quad game was on crazy just to get to work before nine and didn't leave till six. Didn't get back to Echo Park until 7.40. Did that for three months straight. Basically, I was like a receptionist, did da did da but Yo, you you're the creative ambassador, so you get to you get to play the music, right? All that jazz, um, and it just didn't work out. Like the environment was like, it was an easy job. I did so much while I was at while I was on the job, but the people there were so ugh. Like it didn't feel creative, and the job was an ad agency, it's a creative agency, but that's neither here or there. My time came to an end. They wanted me to quit. I'm like, no, nah, y'all gonna have to fire me. <laughs> yeah, and they did. So yeah, in LA, Los Angeles, I got fired from my first real office job. And like, I told my mom, I was like, yo, I think they're gonna fire me. And she's like, oh, you better quit. I was like, nah, I need my unemployment. I need my insurance. I need that. So hopefully that comes. Come. Hopefully the state of California hooks the boy up. But uh, but over those three months, I realized like my creative energy, my output all dropped. <laughs> like it was crazy. Um, I was, was been working on an EP and it, like all my creative energy that I was pouring into that got zapped because I was worried about office politics and doing just dumb shit. Like are the sugars the right sugars or is the water boiling in the, like stuff like that. And like, it was just a weird environment and like me getting home basically at 8 p.m. each day didn't help. Like, you only had 
what? Eight, eight to nine, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One, one. If you go to sleep by one and you have to leave the house by seven thirty, you're pushing it. But go to sleep at one, wake up. Don't even wake up that early. Immediately roll out of bed, pack your bag, and dip for another twelve hour commitment. And uh, I couldn't keep that balance up. So it's like, wow. Of course, like that seventeen dollars an hour is cool. I've made more in an hour than that in my life. And it's and it was one of those things where there's there's more on the other side of the unknown than on the side of the fence where you know what's happening. You know what you're gonna get every two weeks. You know it's gonna come with bullshit just for insurance and uh, and a guaranteed pay and donuts on a Friday and croissants on Monday, it's not worth it. It's not. Like, as a hip-hop artist, as a, just a man, I came here to L.A. to explore and grow and learn and become a better creative, be a better musician, be a better person, be a better man. So, like... Yeah, it's been four months. I still haven't personally dropped any music. So I'm here to telling you today that I'm fully committed to the craft and to all of y'all watching because y'all keep me going. I have to say I haven't been grateful enough for everybody who's been interested in my journey, who's been rooting for me. But now... It's time for me to refocus and give y'all everything I have because I'm not only here because of me, I'm here because of my brother, my mom, my friends, and it's just time to get it. There's no time to look back. There's just time to get it. And if you're with me, then I'm going to keep serving y'all up some, some videos off the iPhone. Hopefully y'all like this. If y'all have any questions, drop some comments questions some comments man and i just want to take y'all on this journey of mine until until i crash out like, <laughs> so yeah thank y'all i love y'all if you like this video hit follow subscribe hit the notification button because i'm here to give y'all everything i got it's your boy on many hoof